So the first layer has uh, set. I've smoothed uh, the gypsum material here. Make sure there's no undercuts. Now I've exposed a little bit, a tiny bit of the teeth and the framework came through. That's not an issue. As long as there's no undercuts for the uh, two layers to adhere to each other. You could use Vaseline here, or like I said, water, glass, sodium silicate to separate gypsum materials from one layer to the next. Careful, don't get any on the teeth. No Vaseline, no water, glass, nothing on the teeth. Nice and clean. Make sure that the uh, flasks can close. That you have no stone on over the ledge. Very good. Uh, I've mixed up a 50-50 mix of plaster and stone. And I'm going to use my fingers here to ensure now many ways to do this you could use uh, this is just kind of uh, basic but you could use uh, you know the advent of silicones or putties but we're just going to use all stone here kind of basic I've ensured now that there's no air bubbles between the two layers Then I can go ahead and I'm just going to cover to the tops of the teeth. And then you can let that set and put a third layer if you wish. Uh, but I'll generally use some paper towel that I was using here left over. So this will kind of uh, ease and deflasking between one layer, uh, one layer and the next. You can cut it perfectly by just ripping some pieces off here. And then slightly uh, overfill I'll put the top on gently even pressure all the way around remove any excess and I'll just wait for that to set and then we'll boil out the wax soften the wax uh, and then treat the model with some denture separator and then pack the case